Hi everybody, good good day, um, well it's evening here, but uh, good day to you, good afternoon. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and uh, on YouTube and Mimi and Body Advice on Facebook. This is your weekly reading and it's slightly different than normal and this is for the air signs. So um, I hope you enjoy it, it's just a try out. Let me know whether you like it this way or not. Otherwise, we just go uh, back to the old way or try another one. Okay, I like to keep things uh, fresh and fruity and um, you can have your choice now. And I thought you might like to join in in choosing and helping me to uh, get the best uh, possible reading uh, for free. And remember, please uh, give me the thumbs up and like this uh, channel and the video. Uh, then YouTube will keep us up in the ratings and then people can find us and join us in the tea room. The tea room is the live chat. I do go uh, live every day, even on Sunday and sometimes twice because I also uh, give everybody, a, uh, every Zodiac, a, a free card for food for the day. And uh, I hope you, you like it and uh, there's a lot of new people coming in and i'm really uh, grateful for that and i'm also grateful for your support and remember it is not just the cards it's also support that we give uh, each other and uh, you're giving me support and i do this uh, with the readings i hope you do find it a support things to think about um, and to make you even stronger standing in your own strength uh, because the, it, is, it just shows you the energy that's around you and you are always the one that can change. The, you, I can't read the, for, uh, the future, it is only saying what the energies are around you during the stretch of a week or through a month and compare the weeklies with the monthlies and see whether that will even help you even more. Um, also, stay, make the choice, make decisions, stand in your own strength and uh, standing in your strength means that you are taking responsible for your decisions and your actions and I hope it brings you peace, happiness and luck. Now let me show you the reading and I will show you what I mean with the difference. Okay, here we go. It's all life done, so you, that's why you get the change of the camera, etc., etc. I won't stop and, and change, and chop and change. This is really uh, right from the beginning. This is the uh, pile one, pile two, pile three, and I will start with number one. We've got um, uh, the dog tarot cards, the cat tarot cards. We've got the Wisdom of the Hidden Realm. We've got the Fairy Lenormand cards. We've got the Answers of the Angels, the Romance of the Angels, and the Queen of the Moon Oracle. That is what lies in each uh, pile. So here we go. I'll just put three and two aside, and I'm going to start with number one, as I said. I do have a, a knitting ne needle if you wonder what it is, then I can point things out. I find that much easier. It's not so disturbing as big fat fingers. And for your first card, you have the Ace of Pentacles from the cats. Okay, and I hope you don't mind me saying okay. I'll try to make it as clear as possible for you. It is on automatic photo focus. So just bear with it. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. You can see the pentacle here and the cat is holding on to it. And it means a new beginning. The pentacles stand for fertility, birth, growth, bl uh, blossoming and um, harvesting. So you might have been investing in something and it will take time to grow, but you'll be harvesting. But uh, this is for the long term, it will be coming back. So if you've got a job, every month you'll get a salary. So it's for long term and it's durable. You might find out that you're pregnant. Uh, you might hear of a birth 
and so on and so on. Um, if, if you're a little bit apprehensive, look at the archway. Uh, it's just like the 11 that I always go on about. Step through the archway and look at the little doves around it. Peace is here. A better and a more prosperous future is here for you. How awesome is that? And you've got another ace and you've got, uh, this is the tarot of the dogs. And um, let me just move it along. You've got the ace of um, cups, the ace of C. That means there might be a new love affair. That uh, also means love, nurturing and caring. So there might be a new start in care. You might get a job in care because that is also work and job. So you might become a nurse, a doctor, uh, a psychiatrist, a social worker, uh, you name it, anything that needs uh, care or giving care to others. You, uh, the blue also means the color of service. So that could be a uh, policeman, you have to take care of the public and the law. Uh, that's also of service. So you might be getting a job as a policeman, a nurse, a doctor, you name it. Something, it could be something that you're passionate about. It could be something that you love to do. Um, or you might meet a new person, uh, earth signs, that is a water sign. And that can be Cancer, Scorpio um, and Pisces. I know there's a lot of information going coming towards you uh, in these readings because I've got quite a few cards. I've got around um, seven cards for you. And here we go. We've got the coffin. Again, a new beginning. Okay, a new beginning for you. Just let me get it right so you can see the labels. You've got the coffin. You can see that this is a transformational uh, picture because the fairies are spraying their fairy dust around. An end of a phase and on to a new beginning. This means a new beginning. This is a new beginning and this is a new beginning. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Three aces in one go. Amazing. Just have faith. And then for the answers, from the answers of the angels, you have the solution will in uh, the situation will improve the situation is going to improve because you've got an awesome lot of new beginnings then we've got the romance of the angels let your friends help you ask your uh, ask for and accept support from others so it's like your wedding day if you can't cope with all the new beginnings emotionally um, then you ask your friends or family or parents for help so you can get grounded don't worry now I'm going to move them alongside a little bit because I've got the other cards coming up and I need a little bit of space we've got the moon sign and the moon sign is fear and the um, I that's why I said if you can't handle all the new beginnings ask for help from others it doesn't really only mean in in romance uh, although there could be romance um, and the situ situation will improve don't worry let go of the old just remember learn from the old and uh, uh, start living for the new uh, learn from the old Throw away the, 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 the negativity and negative things from the uh, old uh, way of life and accept the new one. You've also got number uh, 11, that's the waxing gibbous number 2, fear. You can't see it because it's, they've used white letters on a greyish, whitish background. But that's also a porthole because that's an angel's number and it's like a doorway and go through it says go through so you are actually being pushed by the universe uh, air signs uh, to go through to this new beginning for me this is very strange doing this reading but i think it is awesome 
Okay. Well, we've got the fear card and I've just explained to you what number 11 means and a little bit more. <clears throat> I will give you a little bit more uh, definition on the fear card and see whether it resonates with any other cards. Usually it does and it is really magic up till now in the readings that I've used these cards in. So let's have a look. Um, this, this is fear. The time for courage is here. Fear is only useful if it teaches you something. You must examine whether your fears are old or new. And that's why I said let go of the old because you've got one, two, three new beginnings. And here this in principle, in princi principally this also means let go of your fear and then you can start anew. So have a look what your old fears or new fears are. A new beginning can be fearful because you don't know what's going to happen and whether you've made the right choice. So ask people for help and the um, situation will improve. Useful or unhelpful. Uh, fears of old and new. Useful or unhelpful. Fears block the flow. Okay. And you can use this affirmation this week. I am courageous. I am courageous. If you keep on saying that to yourself, you'll start believing it and try to believe it. Use it as an affirmation, manifestation, visualization. Imagine yourself as strong as a tiger. Just take that paw print. You can take the paw print and use it as the paw print of a lion because he's courageous. Okay, I will go into a little bit more detail of the fear. If there is one thing that stops people from fulfilling their dreams or even getting things done that they want done, it is fear. Experiencing fear is, build, is built in um, a chemical part of the way of our brain works to protect us. Emotions such as fear cause the production of the whole raft of the body. Chemicals can give us the best chance of coping with situations that need our attention to survive. There is a healthy kind of fear, the kind that warns us to keep out of dangerous situations or stay clear of someone who is instinctively makes us wary. However, it would be a rare person who does not have at least one fear that does not serve them. A fear that unrealistic or untrue or perhaps based on an outmoded experience or something that is buried so deeply we only see the symptoms rather than the fear itself. So be more aware of your fear, the fear of the unknown the fear that was in the past. Don't let it happen again. You can talk about it with, with family or friends. You can, if you're going to get married or if you're talking about marriage and you've been married before, there might be a fear that the, the past will repeat itself. So ask help from others and accept help. Now we've got the um, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms by Colet Baron. Read and the Queen of the Light, Illumination, Enlightenment and Celebration. Here again, you've got the celebration here and this already says celebration. And it also says illumination, so something is in the spotlight. So it could be your fear that's in the spotlight and you have to work it through with advice and help from others. The fear of a new beginning, a new marriage perhaps. So let it go, it's number 15 and number 15 in the tarot is the devil so drop that bad habit it's amazing how the knowledge of tarot and lenamon and other oracle cards can help um, align these cards and they are aligned already it's showing us that fear could be one of your major issues and that is highlighted illuminated and um, enlightenment. Enlightenment also can mean get more information um, 
be, uh, be enlightened by the information that you can receive on how to work through your fear. Um, then you can celebrate and you can celebrate much more freely and in acceptance. Remember, your angels and the universe are with you. And number 15 becomes a six, so you are more in balance. Now, I will read a little bit and give more definition of the Queen of the Light. The Queen of the Light is a beautiful ally and comes into your life to herald success. Like I said, it will herald success and after you've worked it through, you can celebrate. In all your ventures, she illuminates the most important steps of your path and reminds you of your own brilliance. You are intelligent and inspired and all your needs will be met. Remember that you're the instrument of the divine. In other words, you are a channel of the divine and the divine will stand by you because you are a channel. You are helping your own spirituality. You are giving yourself something durable and a new beginning. And they will help you with that. And um, of the divine shining through you. In this world, you are on the correct path for your highest good. And that's what I said, illumination, you are on the right path. Follow your intuition. And it's lying underneath the water, it's lying above the water card and it's amazing because water stands for intuition, spirituality, uh, love, passion and nurturing. So nurture yourself and ask help from others. And if it is with regard to your love life, also do the same. I hope you've liked this reading, uh, uh, Air Signs, um, Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. Now I'm going on to number two. Please share and like. Uh, with family and friends and give me the thumbs up and leave my your reactions uh, below uh, the video. Thank you very much for being here and I'll see you in the tea room and uh, the live sessions in, and you, you can become one of the cyber family by subscribing and hitting the bell then you'll be notified. If you don't want to be notified don't hit the bell but subscribe and the channel will be um, saved in on your uh, in your library and now we're going on to number two as you can see i'm taking number two and here we go again you've got the five of pentacles i hope you can see it i'm already putting it on this side because there's other cards coming along this side here you can see the mother cat with the baby cat and I think you, I don't know, it's out of focusing, hold on. The little cat, the, the baby cat is looking very hungry and the five of pentacles in the church window. This means that you are um, protected, you're not alone, although you might have the feeling that you're left out somewhere out of uh, you might feel left out of family or friends or a circle of friends or some uh, a group of people at work don't worry short-lived um, you, you you might feel left out and poor and desperate um, remember you can always go out there and seek uh, protection from an institution because this is also a church window and that represents uh, an institution you can always go to church and see whether uh, you can be helped by the church you can go to social work if you're feeling uh, abandoned and, uh, and left out if you need help don't be scared to ask for help then the next card we have the, the dog tarot and you've got the five of fire and I hope you can see that too the five of fire and here you can see five baskets hanging of food bowls full of fire giving color and you can also see five dogs I think hang on a minute it's a bit dark one two three four five dogs you can't see the other dog very well but that's a dog as well looks more like an Alsatian 
but you've got the five of fire so that means then it is uh, war or fights or this uh, arguments so um, and usually the five of fire is um, guys that are hitting each other with sticks it's a mock fight so to me this a mock fight is competition so there is competition perhaps that's why you are feeling left out at work because there might be um, a position a position opening and you're going for it and you might not be the favorable one or because you're so special uh, everybody else prefers somebody else so somebody else is going for the same position so there is competition so there could be competition at work and it, it could be also competition in love so you know um, let's see what the other cards are going to say for the Lenormand card you have number 11 and that is the whip and the brush or the broom um, and that is also arguments and disagreements and here you can see somebody is not listening somebody doesn't want to listen perhaps that's causing the argument there is no way of communicating with somebody that does not want to listen <clears throat> but like I said um, this is a mock fight so perhaps there's another person that doesn't want to listen and still wants to go for this position or go for this competition because they want to win and from the answer from the angels we have a year from now a year from now and i'm going to put that here and uh, i hope you can still see that i'll have to put them a little bit up so you can see okay a year from now things might um might seem a lot better because you might have won the competition or a year from now you might have wished that you or somebody else would have listened to the advice of others to take care about this competition because they was you that they were scared that you might be left out even if you got this position you might be left out because you're not one of the group anymore you might be a supervisor okay and then it things do change there uh, for the romance of the angels deck i've got codependency addictions are offending uh, affecting your love life it doesn't all, um, always have to be in your love life if you um, are codependent on uh, being on time or expecting people to be on time uh, then you can lock yourself out of the group uh, if you are codependent on constantly battling uh, or making friction because you want competition you want some, somebody to go against uh, perhaps you're codependent on coffee or cigarettes or or bad habit eatings or swearing uh, it can affect your work life and your general life also your love life so trying to drop this codependency it's like the um what did i say uh like the uh, devil card that's also a bad habit card okay then we have um attraction attraction if that's right yes attraction number 44 so the angels are with you um, number 44 is a double number and double numbers are very important and this is the uh, queen uh, of the moon oracle <coughs> sorry deck and number 44 becomes a number eight and number eight is the house of finance and also power you are in your power but sometimes if you use your power incorrectly air signs you can shut yourself out of the community or of a group of people nobody likes a bossy boot and say definitely not if you use it incorrectly because you can cause fights all right drop it the life is not always competition okay you've got the super moon it's attraction the supermoon yet you can be magnetic to others and attract the good 
things in life you that's why i said eight the, the house of finances money and if you put the eight uh, a quarter if you can turn it a quarter then it is infinity you can repel what you no longer wish to attract so in other words you can call or you can push away or demand uh, to drop it what you don't need be ready for opportunity avoid extremes here you are extremes okay like i said don't be codependent that is also an extreme that might cause negative imbalance in your body or mind think of connections greater than yourself that could be the cosmos the universe okay other people use this affirmation or mantra or uh, visual or visualize this or manifest this in this way say this i can attract what i wish and repel what i do not i can attract what i wish and repel what i do not um i'll go on a little bit more about the super moon the super moon is a full moon that is the closest distance from the earth in its revelations revolutions it is also referred to as a, a peregrine a peregrine moon the super moon looks huge in the sky and being so close to the earth it influences the oceans more than usual causing more extreme tides than a normal one and these are extremes don't go for, look for fights don't go um, pester people uh, don't give people ammunition to cause fights with you uh, or competition use it wisely and healthily and keep the balance especially uh, libra okay now you've got the uh, high lord of gratitude and service selfishness uh, selflessness hum uh, humility and conscious action and what have i been take telling you um, you've been i uh, said be cautious uh, be use your power wisely um, so be uh, conscious uh, in taking action uh, not giving anybody ammunition to fight and to quarrel and to go against you okay and don't be selfish uh, by demanding competition or uh, codependency on you or you on something else okay help people that have a codependency to a certain degree so if somebody comes if you're a manager and somebody comes in late then ask why are you late and if they say well i need my cup of coffee before i come in then you can say well why don't you bring a flask from home and if it is something stronger like alcohol then tell them ask them whether they are already seeking professional help and otherwise offer to send them there or whether you can find somebody that's worthwhile that can help them okay so that is selfishness okay and there's all humility humility um yeah humility uh, don't don't accept um humility from others but be human um be humble uh, don't take any hu humility from anybody the high lord of gratitude and service has arrived to help you find your true purpose today feeling gratitude for each moment you experience and loving what is and what was has been will remind you that every brief breath you take holds a deep and profound awareness through small actions and selfless service to others that's what i said you must help somebody else if they are codependent you're automatically placed upon your highest path whether you're immediately aware of it or not 
The presence of this ally lets you know that you are on the correct path. That's why you attract some people, perhaps, people that want to be codependent on you. To fulfilling your desires, you are also notified uh, no, notified that your uh, actions of service and attitude of gratitude will yield richness beyond your wildest dreams as long as those riches aren't the goal you have in mind that's what i said here as well don't always go into competition healthy competition is good but don't force competition and then fights it's just do it healthily okay that's what i already told you so it's funny that I've said that and that this card is already reminding us that as well. As long as those riches aren't the goal um, you have in mind, giving service with no thought of return is what's required of you today. This would also be a good time to write a list reminding yourself of all the things in your life and the world around you that you have to be grateful for. If your questions refers to relationships, let gratitude be your guide. Be thankful for all you learn from this person truly. There's always sorry. If your question refers to a relationship, let gratitude be your guide. Be thankful for all you learn from this person. Truly, there are no friends and no enemies, just teachers. A long life's journey. Be grateful for the laughter and even for the tears that atti the attitude of gratitude is a magnet for true love uh, in all forms like you are attracting if you are gr uh, if you are um if your attitude is gratitude you are a magnet and that's why you're attracting people and that's why they might be codependent on yourself but if you don't, if you don't win the competition now, don't uh, let there be arguments about it or disagreements. Just wait, because a year from now it will be different, and it might seem even irrelevant to you, um, because you are um, a top person anyway, because you are attracting people and helping people selflessly, and you are. Uh, selflessness and you are uh, grateful and you do use your power and your wisdom because you are an air sign you have wisdom you can communicate and yeah you always want clarity so that's why you come up for the people that are codependent or not so intelligent and they depend on you for your wisdom and that's selfishness and that is humbleness. So I think that's awesome. I think this is a very nice reading if you chose number two. And I hope you like that as well. Now, uh, I hope you will give me the thumbs up, share and like this video uh, with family and friends. And I'm going on to number three. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the live sessions and be blessed. <clears throat> Hi there air signs, well this is number three of the uh, three piles that I had and I've just pulled it towards me so let's see what this pile has for you. You have the king of pentacles to start off with. I hope you can still see it because it is evening tonight here and I've got the um, false light on so you might not see it so I'll see whether you can see it better like that. You've got the King of Pentacles, the cat is touching the pentacle. The King of Pentacles means you've got the Midas touch. And the Midas touch means that everything that you touch is turning to gold. And the Pentacles stand for uh, fertility, birth, 
growth, blossoming and harvesting. So if you've been investing in something, you might be harvesting this coming week. Um, uh, if you wanted a baby, then you are finding out most probably that you're pregnant or that you're in, in fact, you are fertile or you might hear of a baby if you wanted to be grandmum um, or a mum. You might be finding out that after uh, an investment, you are getting return. Or um, if you've been doing a job, you might be getting a promotion. Now, for the, um, car, uh, the tarot of the dogs, we have the magician, okay? You've got all the elements uh, in front of you and around you and in you um, to make something, a wish or a goal come true. You've also got the infinity symbol, so the universe is with you. <coughs> and for from the Lenormand, we have the mice. The mice mean that you might have lost something or somebody might have stolen something from you. You might have missed an ingredient. At the last you know, you've got all everything around you and in you to fulfill that wish or goal. Um, but you might be uh, busy in your head. Something might be gnawing at you and uh, and mice also work in groups. Perhaps what you want or what you're wishing for will turn to gold, but you might need a helping hand. Many hands make light work. And perhaps you might need somebody to converse to so you're not stuck in your head and that it's not gnawing at you. Now, um, we've got answers from the angels and it, you have success. Success will uh, prevail so long you might uh, ask people to help you um, because perhaps it, your ideas might be too big or too much at all at one time. For your romance angel card, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive highest energy of all. So if you um, are trying to make plans to get your love and you want to make a beautiful uh, meal and it, you can't cook, then get somebody else to help you with the meal. Make it special and show your love. Open your heart um, to give an, and receive the highest energy of all. Ask them out if that is your wish and ask for help if you're shy. It is safe to love believe in it because you've got a new beginning you have uh, support by loved ones and the angels are there and they are wishing you or saying you will have success oh 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 what a beautiful card you've got from the queen of the moon oracle you have pleasure and it's going to be a pleasant time together so here we are I'm going to show you um, a little bit more detail. You've got number 18 and 18, of course, becomes a nine. So that's an end of a face and you're going into a new face. Yahoo! So that's one, uh, two cards that are showing uh, a new face and definitely success. These two are definitely positive. So long you ask for help and get out of your head. All right, air signs, you have pleasure. Now I've already told you the number, 18. Pleasure, are you taking life too intensive, in intensively or too seriously? The time has come to call in the pleasures of life. Seek the lightheartedness at this time. Focus on what? would make you happy the magician schedule in activities like i said ask them out to dinner and uh, um, schedule in activities you find pleasurable and ask others for help this is the affirmation or the mantra or the visualization on a manifestation 
you can use uh, this week. I open myself to pleasure of life. I open myself to pleasure of life. In our search for a better life, something happened. Along the way, we forgot how to find real pleasure in what we do. Okay? And that could be with the mice. That might be gnawing at you. You're always busy, busy, busy. We forgot how to find real pleasure in what we do, rather than just being diverted from the uh, being diverted from the every day life can be overwhelming and our national uh, rational minds seem to need every available minute of the time of our time to be able to cope with its demands pleasure has taken the back seat what did i say something is gnawing at you or there is a pattern of it now uh, forming destructive tendencies such as binging or uh, binge drinking rather than simply having a wine or two with friends like i said with friends or a friend a big part of pleasure is letting go this could not mean surrendering or giving up. It simply means handing over all our administration, stress and uh, worries for a little time and immerse in ourselves in something joyful. And I hope you enjoy that meaning. Me, meaning. Now, we've got another card and this is from the wisdom of the hidden realms and you've got the spirit whisperer divine guidance you are being guided by the angels like i said they said success and pleasure high and a higher knowing so that's the divine that's the universe that's the angels that is your that could be your uh, subconscious okay your higher self okay and this is in the number three. So that means like the three of cups that comes straight to mind. Partying. Wow. Creativity. Okay. Here we go. The spirit whisperer. Divine guidance. Higher knowing. As an alley. The spirit whisperer comes to you heralding the miraculous and the inspired she whispers guidance from the divine through your higher senses so that you can hear her wisdom and know her love for you she is committed to helping you into it the next right action and steers you away from trouble the spirit whisperer keeps you inspired to move forward always knowing just in time the correct next step the correct next step she guides you to fulfill your highest purpose when she appears it's a sign of inspired ideas that with con uh, continual action leads to success that's a very good omen right your highest purpose is to relax and not to be so serious and to delegate to get out of your head if your question is about a relationship the spirit whisperer speaks of soul connection like i said it is safe for you to love but uh, soul connections past lives and greater learning through mutual mirror, mirror, mirroring. <laughs> and she will whisper how long, how short, how deep and how sweet the relationship can be. There were soul, bar um, soul bargains made even before you both were born. Here and an explan uh, exploration is in order. You may move forward, but keep listening to your spirit whisperer for the lessons that the vulnerability of love brings so 
that is so beautiful so listen to the spirit whisperer because she's telling you learn the lessons of vulnerability and you might have done that in the past and now it's safe to love because you've learned okay and that might have been gnawing at you that you were scared to go and have pleasure to go and and seek friendship and go ahead with this romance or with friends so listen to the spirit whisperer i think this is awesome i hope you've enjoyed it as much as i have and i hope to see you in the live sessions i go there i do live sessions usually once a day sometimes twice a day because i give also a, a, a zodiac card for every zodiac sign or a card for every zodiac sign and um, i also go live to give you all a card for free and sometimes more it is awesome it's not just the cards it's also the cyber family we give um, each other support and this is my support i hope i've given you food for thought and use your energy and your wisdom wisely and sta stay standing in your power you are the one that decides and that makes you stand in your power take care and be blessed and have a great week please share and like this channel with family friends and acquaintances and colleagues ciao ciao